So Sheridan's going to show me some new enhancements that he's been working on for the DCOM ERP platform. They're going to help our customers forecast their production capacities in a lot more of an efficient manner than they've been doing in the past. One of the things that we had from the top was the ability to forecast. Generally speaking, we've only been able to do this from a sales standpoint. Where here, I've forecasted my sales for the next six months in terms of cases of IPA, cases of lager, kegs of IPA, and kegs of lager. From a production standpoint, there's all kinds of formulation and machinery usage that needs to go into determining what kind of machinery I'm going to be using to produce this material and how many hours am I going to need in order to produce all of these quantities. All of this is set up through systems like routings and formula management that have existed in DCOM and now we've been able to report against it just by creating this new somewhat complicated mathematical report. Where you can see here, I have availability, usage, and capacity percentage month over month. This is something that can now be done in the DCOM platform for all forecasts for all types of production processes. So this is giving you new visibility and new insight into the, your whole production schedule. Absolutely, and that's one of the coolest things. And one of the nice things about it is we didn't tailor this to one specific industry or one specific type of product. We built this in such a way where it can be used for any vertical market that does batch process manufacturing. As long as you have a formula, you have machinery that you need in order to fulfill that formula, and you know how much you plan to sell. So Sheridan, tell me a little bit about actually coding this. Well, getting the math right wasn't necessarily the easiest problem to solve. But one of the nice things that we've done inside of our software package is we've created a lot of really reusable structures. We already had the concept of a work center, which represents a piece of machinery. We already had a concept of a parent work center, which groups all of my like machinery together. So I could say I have 20 tanks, for instance. We already had the concept of, a, of what we call a shop schedule, which says when each piece of machinery opens and closes for the day. All this stuff rolls up into all the information that's necessary to calculate a report just like this. So how long do you think it took you to develop this enhancement? You know, all in all, it probably only took me about 20 hours of programming. And is that because everything's housed in a single system? Absolutely, and that's really the big thing. That's great. All right, well, thanks for your time, Sheridan. Hey, it's a pleasure talking to you.